In today's video, we've got another easy shiny hunting method for you to go out and get the brand new Pokemon King Gambit in its shiny form, super easy in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. So this method is going to be all about how you can get yourself a shiny Ponyard or Bishop so you can get a shiny King Gambit. First off, we're going to head over in game to an area, West Province Area 2, and it will be this Pokemon Center right here. And it's next to the Team Star Fighting Base. I think it's the Fighting Base. So once we're at the Pokemon Center, you want to be heading over to this area right here on the map. I'll pull it up as soon as we do get there. So just follow my directions. You want to head out this way into the kind of the bamboo field i i feel like it's called or the bamboo trees whichever um and this area you want to just come past the lake here and then head up to the other side and we're looking for a particular rock because we're going to be using it to kind of have a, a nice base to be able to kind of spawn in a bunch of pokemon and lots of them for one particular type so the rock that we are looking for is right here so on the map this is the rock you'll see it's kind of got like a curvature through it like a darker line through it and on your map if you bring it up we're going to be located right here so on this side of the forest bamboo area and once we're here the nice thing about this rock is once you're facing it you're going to be able to actually set up a picnic in the rock which is a huge plus for us so we're going to have a nice base Everything that's going to spawn is down below us. So now we've got a picnic set up. We are going to make ourselves a sandwich. Yes, you guessed it right. And we'll be making a custom sandwich. We'll be looking for steel and sparkling power level three. As always, I'll throw up an overlay on the screen so you've got an idea of what recipes are available. And there'll be a bunch linked in the description below. So we'll need a hamburger. And for speed, we'll use sweet and salty, and that should do us fine. Obviously, it's a good idea to drop a save before you do this method as well, just in case the sandwich power doesn't produce any shinies. It's never guaranteed. It's always worth just mentioning that. But drop a save before you make your sandwich, and then if you don't get a shiny in that allotted time, then you can just reset your game, come back into it, make the sandwich again, and have another 30 minutes without wasting any resources. Here we go, we've got that sparkling power steel and encounter power level three, so we are ready to go. Despawn our picnic, and once we do, you'll notice bishops and the parties of bishops will just be spawning into this area. So, you're not gonna be able to use your camera, you're gonna have to kind of keep an eye out for them, but they are a blue tinge, and you can see, super easy to do you're going to get a bunch of them spawning in you just need to kind of pay attention to what you're doing if you do have that zoom function though you can use it to kind of get a closer look at some of the parties down there you're going to have the rock in the way for the most part but you can use that we've used it on other videos obviously you go into your system settings in the system and then you just turn the zoom function on and by double tapping the whole menu you're going to be able to just get access to that so once things have spawned in as usual you're just going to want to set up a picnic to despawn any that aren't the shinies and rinse and repeat this process until the shiny pops up but the nice thing is that you're going to get these family spawns of bishops popping up and it makes and increases your odds of these pokemon coming in as a shiny a lot more so you're going to get the chance of the actual bishops popping up as well as all the ponyards as well which are popping and uh, populate in this area you just need to make sure that you are checking them and the pixelation on this zoom in is terrible but you will get an idea of the the shiny when it pops in no doubt about it because they are quite easy to identify bishop is normally red and the shiny variation of this pokemon is blue so it's quite distinguishable and you should have no trouble seeing it when it does spawn in and literally this is all you're going to want to do you've got 30 minutes to make the most of the sparkling power level three with that sandwich that you've made and you're going to be able to just kind of do this super quickly you're not going to have to worry about any pokemon attacking you seeing you uh despawning or anything like that it's just a case of just doing your picnic setting it up taking it down setting it up taking it down and it's super quick to do and it's a really nice way to get yourself one of these brand new shinies that are exclusive to these new games and i think we've got our shiny there's a shiny pony around there we'll just check this party over here there's not double shiny that would be insane and that hasn't taken too long so you can see maybe what have we been at this like uh, 15 minutes so not too bad at all and that's with zooming in and checking as well so 
there we go there is our shiny ponyard and this is what we're going to be able to use to get ourselves a shiny king gambit obviously they are higher level in this area so that's something to just be conscious of i'd love to get in a dive ball just for the blue but we'll see and there we go and the ponyards that you're getting in this area are all going to be around that like 51, 52 level, which is quite nice because ponyard does evolve into Bishop at level 52. So if you've got a spare rare candy, uh, all you need to do is just level it up once and then you will be able to see the evolution into Bishop. Look at that. It's more like purple really, but I've always called it blue. It looks, it's, it's a super nice shiny regardless. Uh, once it is Bishop, you're going to need to get yourself a Leader's Crest. Now, these can be found. You can use this shiny hunting method to locate yourself a Leader Bishop easy enough. So, as you can see up here, the Bishop down here is the one surrounded by Ponyards. So, a Leader Bishop is a Pokemon surrounded by the other Ponyards, and that is the Leader Bishop. They're always going to hold a Leader's Crest. Now, you're going to want to get yourself something with Thief. Or the other option is you can get yourself a Pokemon with Covert, and these are two moves that you can use to steal items off opposing Pokemon. Now, you can just catch the Bishop, of course, the leader Bishop, if you want. But if you've got something like Wigglytuff that has got that Frisk ability, you can make sure that before you do anything, before you use the Covert or the Thief attack, then you can make sure that the item is actually on the Pokemon that you kind of target and make sure it is that leader Bishop. You're not mistaking it for something else there. So you can see we use the Covert. We'll steal that leader's Crest item. And now we've got the item that we need to evolve the bishop now the funny glitch is here if we run from this battle and then we re-encounter this bishop we'll be able to get the leader's crest again so you've got unlimited leader's crest items if you want so a little bit of a bonus uh, a bit of information for you in this video here uh, i did think about doing this as a money farming guide but the amount of money that you can get for time that you're spending doing this there are better means of doing that in this game it is an easy way to get a lot of leaders crest items and you can sell them but they don't sell for a particularly high value so once you've got that and then you're going to want to give it to your bishop and once you give your shiny bishop the leaders crest you're going to want to find three more leader bishops and defeat them whilst your bishop is holding the leaders crest and then you can level it up one stage so to do this to make it easier go back up to the point where we were we'll set the picnic up again and you're going to be able to identify these leader bishops super easy just using this method here so we'll just despawn our picnic and straight away we should identify there is a leader bishop of two lead well definitely one leader bishop i don't know if there are two there but you just want to attack the leader bishop you want to beat three of these and then you'll be able to level it up it's probably also worth just noting, I mentioned this in the guide originally of how to evolve this Pokemon, but if you do have the TM Law Sweep, it's probably worth just teaching to your Bishop because otherwise you're relying on Night Slash Slash and the opposing Bishop will have Iron Defense. So having a four times super effective attack against these leader Bishops will just make the knocking three out a lot easier. And there we go. That is the final leader Bishop that we are able to defeat and like i say now it's done you probably want to spend your time just using the rest of the time that you've got left to find a shiny if you want you could just evolve your king gambit and move on to another target if you feel like you don't need more than one and there we go we've got another shiny bishop this time so we get both of them in this one run we've not got much time left but we do get ourselves a shiny bishop as well so we do get the set from these spawns and two shinies from one sandwich is always very good. So we are ready now to evolve this bishop into King Gambit. So we need to just make sure that it's holding that leader's crest. We've beat three opposing leader bishops and then we just need to drop one red candy on it. And that should do the business and level it up. And as you can see, shiny old bishop evolving into shiny King Gambit. And that's how easy it is going to be for you to get yourself a shiny king gambit in your copy of scarlet and violet and there we go wow look at the glitch there i can't believe it did that but there we go beautiful beautiful shiny pokemon and it's as easy as that and this location not only will allow you to get 
bishops and poniards in their shiny forms. You will also be able to get Teddy Ursa, Ursa Ring as well, which is quite a good one to go after, knowing that we're gonna get Ursulana from Legends Arceus when that compatibility does come out. For You're also gonna be able to get Shinx, Luxio and Luxoray in this area as well by using a electric sparkling power level three. Obviously for the Ursula and the Teddy Ursa, you're gonna be in this position and then use the normal uh, encounter and sparkling power level three but big shout out to, to sucro gaming again for this location discovering it is a great spot where you can just sit behind the rock set your picnic up and these parties of pokemon are going to spawn in on your game and make it very easy for you to get shiny pokemon so i hope you found today's guide useful good luck shiny hunting the bishop ponyard can get that shiny king gambit and also if you go after things like the teddy ursa the ursa ring to get prepped for when that home compatibility drops in springtime 2023 and also Luxray as well, which is a super nice shiny. So there's all three of those from this one particular spot. We've just covered the King Gambit because it is an exclusive new Pokemon to Scarlet and Violet in today's video. But like I say, hope you found it useful. If you have, drop a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe not to miss any more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content that we are continually doing here on the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you in another video very soon. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.